I've actually frequented at, at this place. Uh, the Bucky's National Chain Convenience Store, the son of the owner, okay? According to the authorities, he was putting cameras, secret spy cameras in the bathroom, put up his picture full of masks. The son of the co founder of the nationally renowned Bucky's convenience store has now been arrested in Travis County in Austin, Texas for the crime of major invasion of privacy. His name is Mitchell Wasek, faces 28 separate state jail felony charges of invasive visual recordings. According to the Travis County Jail Records, uh, Mitchell, 28 years of age, was released one hour after being arrested on a $10,000 bond. Per charge for a total of $280,000. And the condition did not contact the complainants. The Travis County Sheriff's Office received a telephone complaint in May alleging improper photography had occurred at a home on the banks of Lake Travis, okay? The multi-million dollar property is home of Donald E. Wasset, Mitchell's father and co-founder Bucky's, okay? A woman reported she and a few of her friends, well, they were visiting the lake house with Mitchell. When one friend who works cybersecurity for the Department of Defense noticed a charging port with a hidden camera plugged into the wall of their bathroom. The group of friends left with the camera and on its microcard found dozens of videos of themselves and other people in bathrooms and bedrooms at the lake house as well as the Dallas apartment. According to the arrest affidavit, they were unaware that the recordings existed in the bedroom and bathroom and indicated they did not consent to being recorded or photographed. It was even further discovered. A warrant was obtained to review the contents of the camera found, 68 movie files containing, containing excuse me, at least 13 male and female individuals being recorded using toilets, showering, changing clothes, and or having sex. The videos were found to have been recorded in multiple different locations dating back to 2021, which included a downtown Austin condo and a vacation home in Colorado, both owned by who? The parents, okay? Mitchell don't own nothing. Amazon Records also linked purchases of spy cameras to Mitchell account. If convicted, a state jail felony carries a state jail felony carries a sentence not more than two years or less than 180 days confinement. Now, isn't that something? So now I, I got to put it out here. Were the parents arrested? Not according to the report. They own the property. Um, he was out in less than an hour. That means somebody knew he was going in and they arranged it to make sure he can get out quickly, okay? The other places that these cameras were found, does Mitchell own those properties? No, his parents own those properties. Um, are they checking all the stores? Because his parents own those too, and he had access to those stores. So if this is about access and nothing else, well, why don't you check everywhere that he had access to that his family owns? All right, this is a hell of a thing, Doc. And all of the things that could happen, Department of Defense up in your house as a guest is able to see this is a camera and I did not consent to being recorded. And this is a problem, thoughts. You know, you put a legal frame around it, which I think is important to think about, right? Did the did the who who owns the property? Where was all this stuff happening? But I also want to. I mean, this is another kind of psychoanalytic case, right? That, that this is a fetish, right? This is yep. somebody who has a fetish of voyeurism or scopophilia or other kinds of things. There's a lot of literature about this, 
And so I don't know about the legal culpability. Honestly, the parents are, you know, the guy's 28 years old and who knows, who knows with the camera, but did they know their kid had this particular fetish, right? I think that'll be the issue is what's the psychological and psychiatric history? Because we see this as almost a classic case from psychoanalysis. Um, who gets off watching people in intimate moments? Who gets off watching people go to the bathroom? It ties to some of the most classic kind of tropes of psychoanalysis about castration, anxiety, and fear of losing your mother and all these kind of things. So there's a lot of literature about this particular fetish. And the question will be, did the parents know the kid had the fetish? What was the relationship? Has he, has he been in therapy before? And then the other part, as you're saying, is like, I don't know, I wasn't going to the bathroom in Bucky's anyway, but um, I think um, people who are using public restrooms are going to have more to think about now, you know, in addition to the questions of a kind of cleanliness and, and things like that. Yep. Um, but because when I first saw the story, I also thought like, just like you, like where else, <laughs> where else were these cameras? That's right. Uh, it's a hell of a thing, and and I want to say this because I know people will say, well, it, it was in properties that were that were owned by his family. So what's the issue? Well, the issue is in that state you have what's called reasonable expectation of privacy in certain areas. And so if you violate those areas, it doesn't matter if you own them or not. If the person had a reasonable expectation of privacy, you have violated them. That's the way the statute works. All right. 